Now we're going to go over math, grade 4, module 3, lesson 27. Multi-digit multiplication and division, topic G, division of thousands, hundreds, tens, and ones. We'll start by dividing 423 by 3. I'm going to show on my place value chart 423. So that means I have four hundreds, I have two tens, and I have three ones. Now I'm going to separate, I'm going to start with the hundreds, and I'm going to separate, I'm going to distribute these hundreds into three different groups. I'm going to take this hundred, this hundred, and this hundred, and I'm going to put them in a group here, a group here, and a group there. Now I have one hundred left. So I can't, I don't have three hundreds to put one hundred in each one of my groups. So I'm gonna have to take this one hundred and I'm gonna have to decompose it, which means break it apart. So I'm gonna draw like a little line through it. And instead of it being here in this column, I'm going to decompose that, break it up into 10 tens, because 10 tens would equal 100. 10 times 10 would be 100. All right, so now instead of having 100 here, I have 5, 10, I have 12 tens. So I'm going to take these tens and I'm going to distribute those into the groups. So I'm going to draw a line through three of them. And then I'm going to put three in the groups. So this is going to be one group. It's going to be a row. So this will be a group. This is in a group. And that's in a group. And then I will draw a line through these. And I'm going to continue to do this and continue to distribute these tens into my three groups. And I'll do this until I don't have any tens left. And that's the last of the tens, so I'll put those in the groups. Now I'll move to my ones. I have three ones, so I'm going to scratch those out. And I'm going to distribute those into my groups. Okay, so here is a group right here. This is one group, and in this group I have a hundred, I have four tens, and I have a one. So the total for this group is one hundred, four tens, and one one and 100 four tens and one one is equal to 141. So that is how much I have in each group. So 423 divided by three is 141. My quotient is 141. All right, let's take a look at 546 divided by three. I'm going to work this one much the same way I did the last one. I'm going to first represent 546 on the place value chart. I have five hundreds. I have four tens. And I have six ones. Now I need to divide that up into my three groups. So I'm going to draw a line through three of the hundreds and then I will move those hundreds down into the groups. That leaves me with two hundreds. So I, and I have three groups, so I'm not going to be able to put these hundreds into my three groups if I leave them intact as hundreds. So what I need to do is I need to decompose them. I need to break them apart. So this hundred I will break apart and I will turn it into 
10 tens because it takes 10 tens to make 100. 10 times 10 equals 100. Okay, so now I've put this 100 in there, which means I no longer have it, so I'm going to draw a line through that one. And now I'm going to draw a line through this one as well. And I'm going to decompose it. Turn that arrow a little bit. Stretch it out so we can see where we're going to put it. I'm going to decompose this 100 into 10 tenths. Okay, so now I have 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. I have 24 tens, and I'm going to put those 24 tens into my groups. So I'm going to do them three at a time. Just like I've done before, because I have three groups. And if I do it the same way each time, it helps me keep track of which ones I'm which ones I've done. And you know, there's some other things I could think of, like 24 tens. If I have 24 and I'm separating it into three groups, I know that 3 times 8 is 24, so I'm probably going to end up with eight tens in here, but we'll keep doing it just to make sure. Looks like I'm almost there. And the last three tens I will put in my group. Okay, so now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tens, just like I thought. And now I'm going to do my ones. So I'll draw a line through those three ones. And then I'll draw a line through these three ones, cross those out, and move them or distribute them into my groups. So now, in this group, I have 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 tens, and 2 ones. So that would be 182. So now let's do it with long division. Let's use the long division algorithm and see how the long division algorithm matches up with our place value chart. So I'm going to divide 546 into three groups. I have five hundreds, so I'm going to be able to put 100 in each of my three groups. One times three is three. Five hundreds minus three hundreds is going to be two hundreds. I'm going to put those two hundreds with my four tens. Twenty-four tens divided into three groups. I'm going to get eight in each group. Eight tens times three is twenty-four tens. Twenty-four tens minus twenty-four tens is going to give me zero tens. So then all I have left is my six ones. Six ones divided into three groups. I'm going to put two in each group. Two times two ones times three is six. When I subtract, I get zero. So you can see how I ended up with the same quotient of 182. Right.
that's going to do it for lesson 27. We've been working to represent and solve division problems with up to three digit dividends numerically with number disk requiring decom decomposing and decomposing a remainder in the hundreds place. All right, so if you need um, to get a collection of all of these videos, there's a couple of places you can go. One is tinyurl.com slash lpssmath4, the number four. The other place you can go is to our LPSS online um, parent command center. You hover over parent command center, scroll down to math resources, and then click on whichever grade level you want. In this case, it's fourth grade. And you have our newsletters, which we're in topic G, so you click here and you get our newsletters. But there's more resources if you scroll down. If you scroll down, you can get to helpful videos. And here's another collection of the videos that I'm creating.